want to see stuff out in the middle, like the sunglasses and all that, you have unlimited time out there. After 36 years, Seattle's Goodwill has ended its glitter sale tradition. And that time has raised more than $3 million for local education and job training programs. King 5's Callie Greenberg was at the sale's final few hours and explains what's next. I just want to take a to give our volunteers a round of applause. Volunteers at Seattle's Goodwill are helping shoppers add a little sparkle. Let me try this guy. It might be covered in sequins. Oh, I like that. That's nice, yeah. Or the sparkle could be that special item, like the watch David Zanitas found at Goodwill's glitter sale. We just popped in to take a look, and it's quite an institution. It's, uh, yeah, it's really impressive. After nearly four decades, this impressive. It's a definitely a, a lot of pandemonium. Sometimes crazy tradition is coming to an end. It's a farewell tour. And I was at Elton John and the Rolling Stones this year, so you know, it's appropriate that I'm also here. Seattle Goodwill says organizing the glitter sale has become too expensive, and it's ready to find other ways to fundraise. It's a little bittersweet. Pam Baker has been volunteering for the glitter sale behind the scenes for almost a decade. I'm a volunteer who's volunteering to assist volunteers. <laughs> Assisting more than 500 volunteers to be exact. That's how many it takes to get this sale up and running. We've had a lot of longtime volunteers come in. Very sad. For those longtime volunteers, there's been a lot of reflection. Because while this is a sale, the money raised has gone to help fund education and job training. It's a lot of hard work for everyone involved, but in the end it pays off. Goodwill says without the glitter sale, people will have to shop the stores to find these treasured items. And the money will still help fund programs. In Seattle, Callie Greenberg, King 5 News.